Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to what's turning out to be sort of a just vehicle update video, I guess. Uh, so we're here with the Ford, first of all, because winter is coming. This is the winter beater, and currently it's not moving. It still runs and it does still drive somewhat, but it's got some god-awful noises going on. We're thinking possibly the transfer case, something going on. Working on getting that worked out, so that way I have a, a unit for the winter again. Next up, the e-bike has turned into this. Now, not really. The e-bike's still that Dick Trip J Anus, but with some modifications now. Let me go ahead and show you these. So first thing, I didn't like that little seat that was on it. So I went ahead and got the good old uh, big butt seat. This is way, much more comfortable. It's a little weird that it doesn't have like the front bit, but it's decent. I could probably do even better. And it still folds. I just replaced the entire seat onto this, uh, this rod that goes into here. And another thing, we got a nice basket now with a little bit of a cover on the inside here so you can put stuff in, it won't fall through the grates. Also, you got this netting so you can kind of like cover your stuff up if you don't want stuff going flying out of there. Yeah, there it is, the Vic Trip J Anus, looking, looking fancy, looking like a different bike. Would you look at that? Another thing I have since learned with this bike, uh, the reason why they give you two sets of keys and not just two keys, it's because you actually need both keys. Who would have thought? So all this time, you know, I'm thinking we've got this one like ignition spot here. Stick a key in, turn it on, and you can start the bike up. I'm like, okay, that's good. That must be engaging both batteries, you know, turning both batteries on. We're good to go. But no, I've been running on only this battery because, and I mean, I knew about this. There's another keyhole down here and I knew about it. I knew that's how you like fold the bike in half and that's how you disengage the other battery that's in the, the rail here. But I had no idea that just putting this key in and on would only be turning the one battery on. So you not only have to put that key in up there, you have to put this key in down here, turn that on, and now you got a dangly key down there and you can run on both batteries. Would you look at that? I, it's especially hard to know because there's no indication on here. It's just. If you turn the one battery on, it shows full battery. So you're thinking, okay, we're good to go. But that's uh, that's not really the case. So I have been wanting to do a video where I test out the range on this thing. Maybe try and do, you know, the 75 miles if I can. But all the times I've been riding it, I've been just thinking, there's no way this thing's gonna make it 75 miles because I'm not even making it 35 miles. And the reason is I was only running on one battery. I think if we do the two batteries, we're gonna get a lot more range. And I think I can test this thing out. Just got to figure out a good place to have the, the range to be able to do that. And for the final update, the van has become a Ford. See? Not really. I actually did get some new tires on the van. There's some good old uh, Firestone Transforce A2s. Uh, a little dirty at the moment, but they're pretty decent looking tires. Uh, it was it was due. And when you're gonna be taking some long trips, you better make sure you got some good tires. Soon, I'm hoping to get a hitch put on it. That's not done yet, but getting a hitch put on it, uh, so that way we can go ahead and get a bike rack put on, get that e-bike traveling with me. Uh, one other thing we are also doing, I've got this box. It's a DC to DC charger, uh, so I want to get it installed. It's gonna take, it's gonna link into the batteries and into the ignition. There may be videos coming on that, on uh, how you actually do that. We'll, we'll see uh, We'll see what comes of it. But it uh, links into the ignition, to the battery, so then whenever you're running, it's taking charge from your batteries. I think it's only like 10 amps. Actually, it might even be less. Small amount of uh, a charge that it's going to take, uh, but it'll be good. So say you're running it, you're going on a long road trip. The whole time you're driving, you're going to be putting battery, battery power into your... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be putting charge into your solar batteries as well. So if you get some days like today where uh, yeah, the sun's out there, but it's kind of cloudy, maybe not getting the best charge on on your uh, your solar setup. You know, you got other ways to charge. I suppose, uh, you know, since we're doing the update and such, um, I could let you know. I do have a generator also. So say you need to uh, charge up a little bit, run the Jenny, just plug in. I got several different chargers. I've got... This is a eight amp. This is like a six amp. That's like a two amp little trickle charger. So I mean, I, I got options here. Uh, but anyways, I think that's just about gonna do it for today's little bit of a vehicle update. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, 
that like button helps out a bunch subscribe to the channel turn on those notifications so that way you're not going to miss out on any future videos or possible streams stuff like that consider becoming a member only 99 cents you want to help support the channel get videos early get some member only content some cool stuff like that check that out as well another great way to support would be checking out merch like this fancy shirt we got on right here <laughs> uh link is in description but anyways guys thanks again for watching hopefully i will see you in the next one peace